We're in Coos Bay today, and we're at Sunset Bay Golf Course, and we're speaking with Golf Course Superintendent Tim Hyatt. Hey, Tim. How you doing? Doing good. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate the introduction. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks for having me here today. I'm super excited about this BMP we're going to talk about. Uh, we are going to talk about um, creating uh, habitat for wildlife. Right. Right. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that program? Sure. Sure. Thank you. And so what we have here is kind of a managed, semi-managed area where obviously we have a a spot in here for golfers to come in and still hit their golf, their, their golf ball out. Uh, but yet we also have semi unmanaged areas as well. And here's an example of an old uh, Sitka spruce, blue spruce stump. And instead of just cutting that right down at the base, like a lot of folks would do, uh, what we end up doing here um, is leaving it. And then we see up a little ways up yeah. where you yeah. see an opportunity for some woodpeckers to not only make a home and have some babies, but also as the wood begins to decay, uh, get in there and, and grab some bugs so, out of there as well. Tim, how how old is this, uh, I'll call it a stump. Sure. Uh, how old is that, do you, do you um, think? That's about five years old. And how long do you think that uh, will sustain itself to the point that it's useful? Um, I'd give it about, about 10 to 15 years. We have a conch mushroom over here on the side, and these obviously grow on dead wood. We've got oh, right yeah. up here in the, in the tree, we've got some ferns, oh, and wow. that's an opportunity right. for right. You know, your, your, all, all the fun critters that we love so much to yeah. be able to run yeah. around up there. And we have over here a black huckleberry, which I'm going to wow. go ahead and partake in right here. Wow. Um, go ahead and grab one. Very cool. Just grab one and eat it, huh? Yeah, they are, and this great. isn't poison, right? No, it's not. These are black huckleberries. They're very good. Oh, amazing! Right. Yep. And so you'll let you'll let a plant like this grow? Oh, certainly. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Versus chopping it down right. and trying to keep everything super manicured, so that's you're great, allowing yes. some of this uh, mm -hmm. natural stuff to to persist. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So, so how do the golfers? Um, feel about that because you know mm -hmm. a lot of times golfers uh they they see the stuff on television mm -hmm. uh and that's what they want in their world sure. uh so so this is a different mindset for a golfer to come out here and say you know what uh the pristine stuff to me isn't as important as nature seeing nature and nature so do you have conversations with your with your customers uh, about that or uh, how do you overcome that uh, that need for perfection? Sure. Well, it's not that we are um, overcoming that or uh, really fighting that in any way. Well, the, the whole idea is that if somebody hits it straight down the middle, um, then that's great. Yeah. And they are not sacrificing um, a beautiful mode groomed fairway. Right. And so the, the two are not in conflict with each other in, in any way. Right. Um, it's really a natural complement and a perfect complement. Yeah. Uh, because if you hit your ball and you hook it over here where that's what it would take to, to be where we yeah, are yeah, off yeah. the tee, <laughs> then you get the opportunity to commune with, with nature a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for having us Great. out here Thank today. Can, and uh, I super appreciate it. Great. It's been fun. Okay. I want to thank Tim and his family at Sunset Bay Golf Course for having me out and looking at the golf course and uh, examining this BMP. I think it's a, a very worthwhile BMP, and I know it may not fit at every golf course uh, at the level that he's doing it, but uh, superintendents could uh, communicate the importance of a BMP like this to its members, I think, and find a lot of support for leaving a stick or two of deadwood up around the golf course, uh, which would then provide habitat for uh, wildlife species. So hopefully we'll start to see more of this around the country. And uh, until next time, thanks for tuning in.